Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video in the Python series, we are going to create our first Python program. So whatever we have learned, learned in our past five videos, I am going to combine that and I am going to create a first basic Python program and you will learn a lot of concepts from this particular Python program. So let's move ahead and see exactly what we are going to do today. So I'm going to open the PyCharm IDE, which in case you are watching my previous video, so you would already have the same uh, IDE tool installed on your system. You would have this Python project 01. We discussed about modules. We discussed about the, you know, how we can run a particular file in PyCharm IDE. So in continuation to that, so let me just simply click on the Python project on the Python project 01 that we have created. Click on new and the Python file right and this i'm going to name it as first program right and enter so a new file which is nothing but my first python program file okay the spelling must be uh, incorrect of the first but anyways so this is the uh, you know first python program that we are going to create in this particular python file right so the very first thing that we learned in our last video was module right so let me import a module called as math Right, this was the same module which I also showed you in an example. You can also see that it gives you intelligence as well. It is a built-in module. So it simply showed you import math. Now at the top hand side, you can actually see that there is an option, right, of main and the current file. So since we are, we don't want to run main.py file, right? We want to run our first program.py file. So let's select this current file and let's click on run. So the moment I click on run that you can actually see that it caught run without any error and you know it why because we have already discussed it. It is a built-in module and it gets imported. So uh, I'll just go to the view option over here and I will simply select increase font size in all editors. So this is how you can actually, uh, you know, always increase the size. Right. There are multiple ways to increase. So I just showed you one. So here we are doing nothing, but we have simply increased the font size. Now we have imported this module math. So what you can do is you can simply click on control and this math, right? Now, the moment you click here, you are you actually land into math.py file. Now, this math.py file is nothing but the module which you have imported, right? This is the same module. Now, this module, what is a module and things related to module, I've already explained you. It is nothing but just a piece of code which you can utilize. So, you can see that it has few variables over here and then it has few functions. Let's say a cosine function, right? So, you can also see what it says, returns arc cosine of x so whatever value you give over here it will return you the arc cosine of that particular value so these functions you can actually use in your program right so what we are going to do is we are going to use these functions now i'll go back to my first program and let's say i want to print something right let's say print is actually the function which is used to print in python so the moment i write print you can actually see it gives you two options pprint and print so pprint is something different which we are going to talk later on in our videos so we are going to see print and the moment i click on tab right i choose the first option you will see it opens and closes a bracket right inside it right you need to write in whatever you want to print in and you need to write it in double quotes so for example let's say i want to print let's say uh, if you go to this maths.py file right let's say i want to print the value of e over here right so let's say i write here in the text format the value of e is right let's say i want to print this right now this is just a sentence that i want to print so what does print function do whatever you write inside it it will just display it on the system output so if i run it you can actually see that it says the value of e is it just print prints that uh, statement right but now what i want to do i want to print this value of e from that math module right now how do i do that i can simply write in comma and i can simply type e but now it will give me an error what error it will give if you see over here it shows the red linings right now what does this red lining this red lining is nothing but whenever you get this right it is nothing but it is an indication that you have an error over here 
right it is just an indication that you have an error over here and you also understand from this intelligence that what that error is so that is why these ide tools help you a lot right so you can see that it says unresolved reference e what does it mean that it does not understand where is this e coming from right now why is this happening we have imported this module then what is the problem over here the problem is when you import a module you just download it just think in that concept right you just download it i'm just giving you an example a reference when you import math math was already there right it is an inbuilt module you imported it means now where you are working right in that directory you have this math module but now to use whatever is there in the math right you need to write a statement you need to say from math import star so if i say star what is happening over here from that math module that is present that is downloaded now just import me everything import everything to this file so that i can use whatever function is there inside math right so the moment i do this i write this statement you can actually see that this error goes away now if i run it right now you can see the value of e is 2.718 right now you are actually able to get this value as well from here right similarly if you go here you know all the functions are present over here you can you know play around try to use any functions from this so let's say you know you have this remainder function you have the sign function you know which we used to learn in math so for example let's say this is a square root function right it says return the square root of x right now what i can do is i can use this how can i use it i can simply say for example print right let's say i write math dot square root right now square root of let's say 36 so basically what it will do is it will go to the math over here it will go to the square root function in the math and inside it it will give the input as 36 to this math function which is nothing but the square root function it will give 36 as an input to it and it will return the output now if i run it you can see it has printed me 6 over here right i can also say over here the square root of 36 is right and then i can hit comma and i can simply write this statement and now let me run it right so now you can see the square root of 36 is 6 so this is basically how you can you know write a program now this was a very basic and uh, th this was a very basic and uh, like uh, how how would i would say it's like whatever we have learned i have just summarize it over here right we learned about module so what i did is i used a module and i uh, did a one liner uh, program right so in the similar way in the real time as well when you write code you would definitely need to use modules because let's say in my code i want to uh, understand what is the square root of 36 now instead of writing code for it what what i can do i can simply import math and simply use math dot square root and i can pass in my number over there so this is how we actually use math modules as well. Now when I'm creating these uh, videos, I'm creating it from a very real time perspective. I'm not creating it from a very basic perspective, right? I am already thinking of, uh, you know, what can be the real time usage. So even this first function, it's not a simple function. This is something that you can actually use in real time. You import a module and use the function of that module right so i hope you like this video do try it out and do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts any questions so thank you so much for being till here